What's up everybody guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at best mini projectors. Mini projectors are revolutionary products for us creators. Because when we do projection mapping, we can do projection mapping at any location and low cost. For example, Naked uses this projector. Naked is a company that is known for installation or beautiful event. And the projector is really nice, but it's big, stupidly expensive. For in this, it's like I don't have that kind of place to put in and I don't have that kind of money. I can't afford it. Well, if you are one of those people with the pro with the mini projector I'm gonna to show you today, you don't need a huge space to do projection mapping, like in your house. Let's take a look at three of the great things Mio Maroon actually bought. The first one is Elfas Mini Projected. Size is 201 by 140 by 70 millimeters. Brightness is 4600 lumen. Contrast ratio is 1001. Native resolution is 854 by 480 supports 1080p when actually projection it like, like it looks like this We can plug in two USB, one HDMI, one VGA, and manual keystone and manual focus. The price was 10,600 yen at Amazon Japan and $100 at US Amazon when I bought it. And Q10 from eBay, a little bit higher. The features of this product are dirt cheap no too cheap this price is crazy for this future it also has an adjuster for easy adjustment i use it in the hokyo video the bad part is that the machine is no easy and a little a little dark you can hardly see the picture with the lights on the manufacturer says 4,600 lumen, but I think it's only about 100 ounce lumen, since lumen is only the manufacturer's standard. So we should trust ounce lumen. I recommend it darkening the room when use it. So says Amazon. The second one is Banku's mini projector, GO300. I wanted something smaller because I'm trying to do projection mapping at home. That's when I found this. Size is uh, 136 by 65 by 60 millimeters. Brightness is 300 ounce lumen and the contrast ratio is uh, 3001. Native resolution is 854 by 480 supports 1080p. When actually projection, it looks like this. We can plug in two USB, one HDMI, one audio out, and micro SD, and manual focus. And the price was about $236 at AliExpress. 
24,800 yen at Rakuten when I bought it. After all, it is this size. It is about half the size of the previous one. And it this size and this bright. It looks clear even when the projection in the daytime. I think it is possible to use this instead of a TV and it is rechargeable so you don't need to plug it in. The price is a little bit higher than the previous one but it's still cheap. The previous one was just too cheap. I recommended you to I, re I recommended you to buy from Rakuten in that case because this product might be sold out on AliExpress due to its popularity. The ones I buy sell out pretty quickly. I bought two of them for mapping at home. Just little note, the keystone is automatic. That might be nice for normal people, but for projection mapping, it's smarter to use a touch designer or something like that. So turn the automatic off. Third, Bankyo Smart Mini Projector GO200. It is much smaller than the previous one, but it can be small, smaller still. That's it. I put this last because it is the best recommendation. The size 60 by 60 by 58 millimeters. The brightness is 100 ounce lumen. Contrast ratio is 4001. Native resolution is 854 by 480. Supports 1080p. When actually projectioned, it looks like this. We can plug in one USB, one audio out, one mini HDMI. Wait, I don't have mini HDMI. No worries. It is included in this box and the manual focus. The price was about $173 at AliExpress and 26,000 yen at the Rakuten when I bought it. This little things. I might be able to do projection mapping on my desk or something. When actually use it for projection mapping, it can really be done anywhere, anywhere like this. And the price is even lower than before. The Chinese projector was sold on Alibaba's e-commerce site called AliExpress, but the Chinese projectors are cheap, high functional, and amazing. But I suspected that China is cheap, but the quality is poor, and the packaging is awful before I bought it. Honestly, I was wrong. China is the best. That's why they are so popular and sell out quickly. And the brightness is a concern. It is so beautiful. Even when projection in daytime. I was so surprised that I wanted to share it with everyone. So I posted it on Twitter. And don't think this is just a project. This is an Android with a projector function. It's like Tesla. You know, Tesla is not just a car. It's smartphone that can drive and the top surface is a touch panel and you can watch YouTube right on it. Of course, this is also rechargeable and you can watch movies at home 
as a home project. Uh, you need a Fire Stick, Stick TV though if you want to watch the Netflix or Amazon Prime video or something like that. It's so small that Rakuten says it's small enough to fit in a pocket. Are you crazy? But if you put it in a pocket, well, it will fit, but you can't walk out outside with it because people will think he's the type of guy who carries around a Rubik's Cube. Finally, a comparison of the three projects. This is Elephas Bankyo Geo 300 Bankyo Geo 200 and the, co and the comparison of functions. Uh, if you want any of them, I put them in the purchase link in description. Please note that AliExpress may require you to select your purchase depending on your country. So everyone, if you have any question or any recommendation, please leave a message in comment. Have a nice mini project life. See you guys.